Hey guys, Cece here with a first impressions on the new NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. Now this is a brand new foundation from NARS. I believe it came out probably about a month ago. So very, very new. I got mine from Saks, but they do sell it at Sephora or wherever else NARS is sold. But I ended up getting mine from Saks because I had a gift card and it retails for $48. There is the packaging, very pretty packaging as most NARS products, very sleek. It comes with in this frosted glass bottle with a black top and ta-da, a pump. Now, if you guys have any other NARS foundations, well, if you have the Sheer Glow or the Sheer Matte, then you know that those do not come with pumps, which I hate because you have to buy the pump extra for $6. And when you're spending $44 on a foundation, pump should be included, okay? But for this foundation, the pump is included. And um, yeah, so starting with what the foundation claims to do it claims to be 16 hour wear it claims to be buildable it claims to be weightless and it claims to be full coverage so those are very 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 serious claims when you need to wear your makeup all day and you need something that's gonna last now again this is the first impression so I cannot tell you if the foundation wears for 16 hours I don't wear my foundation for 16 hours anyway but um, I can't really say anything to that claim but you will see in the demo where I talk about the other three points from what I have discovered just by putting on this foundation today it is very weightless and lightweight I love I just love the way it feels on the skin it feels like I'm not wearing anything and I love that in a foundation I hate a really really heavy foundation that feels really heavy and this is also full coverage this stuff is pigmented I I mean, it reminds me a lot. It's really liquidy. Can you guys hear that? Maybe not. I don't know. But it's super liquidy and it reminds me a lot of the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Pure Brightening Serum Foundation because this stuff is liquidy as well. But this stuff is not full coverage. This is so pigmented. So it's very important that you get your correct shade because this is so pigmented and but it's so light. It's crazy. Like I feel like they're kind of oxymorons like if it's a really light foundation it's not going to be that pigmented and it's not going to give you full coverage but this stuff definitely does cover and a little goes a very long way like I don't know if you guys have heard about this foundation this bare minerals but literally all you need is like two drops it's the same with this foundation two pumps is enough I pumped too much in the demo and it was just a little too much on my skin but the foundation blends it so easily because it's so lightweight so I was able to blend it out and still make it look great now again sticking with the consistency of it it's very liquidy again so you must give it a good shake before you start that is something I did not do when I first started which you'll see in the demo and then I had to go back and shake it and pump out a little more but you must give it a good shake before you start to apply it because the contents do separate in the bottle so you'll get um, it'll just be like a, a mess if you don't shake it it'll just be a big old mess also, because of its consistency, I would not use a beauty blender again. I used the beauty blender in the demo, which you will see, but I would not use a beauty blender again because I just feel like it soaked up a lot of the product, too much of the product. When I use this foundation again, I'm going to try it with the Real Techniques either buffing brush or this one, the Expert Face Brush. I love using these Real Technique brushes for lightweight foundations. They just seem to blend in the product so easily it blends so easily and it just makes my face look beautiful and airbrushed so next time I use this foundation I will definitely be using a brush but I did use a beauty blender today and it as you can see it blended out amazingly but I feel like it just soaked up way too much of the product now this foundation you can put on a very light layer so it's not so full coverage if you do not like full coverage or you can go for the full face full coverage look but it doesn't look so full coverage and again it doesn't look cakey and your skin just looks very luminous it definitely has that luminous luminous glow to it uh, but it's not oily or unnaturally luminous I usually don't go for luminous foundations you guys know I love my matte anything that says matte I have to go out and pick it up but this foundation just intrigued me so much like my oils are not shining through or anything and I do set all my foundations so I did set this with the MAC mineralized skin finish just to make sure I wanted to keep 
the luminosity going. I didn't want to use a matte powder on my skin because I felt like that would transform the actual finish of this foundation. So I wanted to keep... Someone always texted me. Anyway, I wanted to keep the luminosity going so I used MAC Mineralized Skin Finish which is like a satin finish for the foundation to set the foundation. Another thing I want to say about this foundation is that it's not tacky on the skin. Some foundations you find like never fully dry on the skin. Like they're just tacky and they'll transfer if you touch something and they just never fully dry. This foundation actually fully dries in the skin. It seems like the skin kind of absorbs it a little bit and then it just like fully dries into the skin. So I love that. I hate to touch my face and I feel like my foundation hasn't fully dried or fully set. But this stuff sets in your skin so depending on how this wears throughout the day I think this foundation can be good for all skin types and it definitely does say that on the box that it is good for all skin types um, I'll try to come back with a maybe a follow-up review on this in a couple of weeks after I've worn it but so far so good I'm loving this foundation I give it a five out of five just for my first impressions today Alright you guys, so I think that is all I have to say about this NARS All Day Weightless Luminous Foundation. So if you guys have any questions about it, definitely leave them down below and I will be happy to answer them. Stay tuned for the demo if you want to see how it applies and how I applied the rest of my face makeup. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Don't forget to follow me on social. Okay guys, so the first thing that we are going to do is use a primer. This is my new Too Faced Hangover RX Primer and I have not use this yet so this is going to be a first impression on this as well I know you guys have heard about this everyone and their mother is talking about it so I wanted to give it a try it says it is a replenishing face primer with coconut water electrolytes and probiotics and it's silicone free so it's just supposed to make your skin smoother more radiant more hydrated and you're supposed to look like you've had a full night's rest which I'm nine months pregnant. Due date is in two days, so I definitely have not had a full night's rest. So we'll see what this does here. And it has a little pump, so you can just pump some out on your fingers. And my skin is already moisturized, by the way. Feels really good on my skin, actually. Love the way it feels on my skin. So there it is on my yeah. So there it is on my skin. It smells like coconuts. Makes my skin smell like coconuts. So it smells really good. Oops. Then I'm gonna go on top of that, just in my nose area with the Maybelline Instant Pore Eraser, the baby skin, and this is just gonna help make my pores appear a bit smaller. And this is very silicone feeling. And I have a full review on this if you'd like to see that. I'll link it. Next we're going to go into the foundation. This is the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. This is their brand new foundation that they just came out with. So we will see how this works. The first thing that I love about this is that it has a pump, which is absolutely amazing. The other NARS foundations do not have pumps, so this one is amazing. But the coverage looks amazing. I think I like it. It feels like it's setting into the skin very nicely. Like the tackiness, you know, you first put your foundation on, it's a little tacky. The tackiness is going away and it's setting into the skin really nicely. It looks like a nice satin finish. It's not matte, which you guys know I usually love matte foundations, but it's like a nice satin finish. And it's just, I don't know, it's just really pretty. I see the luminous glow that it talks about. I'm seeing that on my skin. Hmm. All right, well, all right, well, let's go ahead and finish the rest of the base.